Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Curiel. Makeup Revolution have released a brand new sister brand. If you don't know what brand I'm talking about, by the way, it's Real Love by Revolution. I don't know. And at first, I wasn't gonna touch this with the barge pole. I was like, no, we need to stop them. Okay, Makeup Revolution already have like six sister brands. Why are they bringing out a new one? But then I saw the prices and I was like, hmm, this is a lot cheaper than other Makeup Revolution stuff. And then my interest was piqued, so I decided to pick up a few things. And we're gonna be doing this look here today. I decided to jump in, do something a little bit more creative, and by creative, I just drew some flowers on my face, let's be honest. <laughs> I just wanted to have some fun and chill and just test these products out and see if they're actually any good. They almost have a full face. I've got primer, foundation, contour, blush, an eyeshadow palette, and also this white liquid liner, which explains the flowers. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be testing these on my face, see if they're actually worth it. It feels like they're kind of stomping on Elf's toes with these kind of price tags, but we'll get into this, test it on my face, and yeah, we'll do this makeup look together. Before we get into it though, if you are brand new, I hope you decide to subscribe if you'd like to. All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the little bell button and that'll just notify you when I upload next. Without further ado, let's get into the makeup. Hey guys, I'm just actually popping in from the future because somebody managed to delete a full clip of trying two products from this brand. I don't know who it was couldn't tell you uh <laughs> but i was actually planning on trying them again today so i thought it was the perfect time to actually come in and show you the two products that i deleted okay let's get into it so the first one is the glam balm this comes in various different flavors i got fresh burst which i believe is like a watermelon scent and it's just a lip balm this was three pounds and it's such a thick formula can you see that look <laughs> how thick it is it's just standing upright but it feels really good on the lips. It smells really good as well. And I first applied this in the beginning before I started my makeup and it just completely absorbed into the lips. It doesn't leave like a slick layer on your lips, if that makes sense. It just kind of really absorbs in and it's really nice. With some lip balms, they can actually dry out your lips and this one doesn't do that. So that's great. However, I am currently using one by Premark, which is a pound and it's very similar to this. So if you have access to Premark, I would suggest just going there, save yourself some money. Not that this is necessarily expensive, but it's cheaper in Premark, so just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> and then the second product is the Pore Vanishing Primer. This is four pounds. It's supposed to blur your pores and give you a smooth, flawless finish, and it's supposed to be weightless as well. First of all, I love the pump. I don't know, it's a good quality pump. <laughs> when I tried this, I was very surprised. The actual consistency is like a gel. You see that? It's quite runny, so it's not your stereotypical pore perfecting primer kind of thing, you know, like Benefits one. It's like a thick gel, but when you apply it, it just feels like a moisturizer. It smells like peaches. It smells amazing. But yeah, it just literally sinks into the skin. Looking at my skin though, I, I can't see a blurring finish. It feels really nice though on the skin and it doesn't dry out my skin or anything. But yeah, I can't say it's making a considerable difference to my face because it's just literally like disappeared. As far as longevity and it affecting my foundation and things like that, I obviously can't attest to that because <laughs> this is only my second time using it and I haven't worn it for a full day yet. But yeah, that's the two products that I missed out on application and stuff. I just wanted to pop in and actually show you guys those products and discuss them a little bit. Now we can go back to normal programming. I hope you guys are having a good day. Let's get back to the original video, shall we? Next up to try, we have the Super Serum Foundation. I was super intrigued by this. I used to love the Drop Foundation by Makeup Revolution that they brought out like ages ago. That came out just after the Stick Foundation, so that was quite a while ago, but I really loved the finish of that. This doesn't come in their usual like 50 shade range. This only has 15 shades. I'm assuming it's because they've just launched the brand, so they're kind of testing the waters out. As I'm filming this, they've also just released a face and body foundation. Let me know if you're curious for me to try that and I'll consider buying in it but I can't keep up with these Zam brands. <laughs> this was five pounds and I've got it in the shade I think it's 02. Yeah F02 which is the lightest foundation shade in this. It's supposed to create a silky breathable base, be ultra lightweight, stretchable and buildable. It's got hyaluronic acid in it and it's supposed to create a dewy finish so sounds great let's try it on. Super hard to get 
Oh, I'm scared it's gonna fling everywhere. Ugh. Okay, so consistency wise, it's very runny. Yeah, it's very runny. This looks like it is gonna be too light for me, but we're gonna bronze up. I wanna do a kind of creative makeup anyway, so that's fine. I imagine once it's actually on my face, it won't be too bad. Did it say what coverage this is? I can't remember. It says it's buildable coverage and use whatever amount you want to get the coverage you desire. Although it says it builds up to a medium. Right off the bat, this is looking like decent coverage for me. You can still see my freckles through, which I like. It is super lightweight. I can't feel anything on my face. As far as finish goes, that is, that is pretty much dried down. It actually looks kind of pretty, you know? I pretty much used up everything that was on the back of my hand, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Packaging scares me every single time I try to use it though. <laughs> oh, I did not want that to happen. I've come to the conclusion, I kind of hate this packaging. The foundation's oxidizing just like a little bit. I think you can see that because it's like super light up here and then it kind of relaxes a bit. Just trying to build it up a little bit here to see if it is actually buildable. It's looking a little bit more textured where I've built it up so I don't know if it's the best foundation to build up with especially because it's drying down like it's a weird kind of consistency. I would definitely say this is a light to medium because as I said you can still kind of see my freckles through it but it's just evened out my skin tone you know. It has given me a really nice healthy glow to my skin. It matches my <laughs> neck and chest pretty well. By the way, these are all glass components that these are in, which is kind of crazy for the price. So yeah, kind of impressed with that. I am honestly kind of shook. This reminds me of the Good Apple Foundation by KVD. Does it? Do mm. It does transfer, but it feels like it's almost set. It's a weird texture, but hey, I like the way my skin looks right now. I'm gonna go ahead, put on concealer. I'll also put on some eye primer and then we'll do the eyes and everything together. See you guys in a sec. All right, so I've added some concealer. I'm using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh and I've set it with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then for my primer, I've just used my Sigma Eye Base in Ignite. So let's do some eyeshadow. They've released these little six pan eyeshadow palettes, which I think is cute. They have a load of different shade variations. I've got the Soulful palette, which is more of the kind of well, online it looks very warm golden, but then when I've got it here, it's not as warm and golden as it looked. They do have some more colourful palettes and everything like that, and these are three pounds. I feel like they're treading on Elf's toes with these ones. <laughs> But let's see what the quality is like because the e.l.f. ones are really good. And Makeup Revolution's quality can be a little bit wishy-washy when it comes to eyeshadows. So I'm intrigued. It doesn't have shade names. It's just numbered. She's cute. I wish she had a little bit more yellow in it for the look that I was planning to go for. And also, there's not a lot of depth in here. So it's going to be a very light look. I'm going to go in with the shade number four. I think it is this one right here. It is uh, very dusty. <laughs> Kick up is real, but let's see if it looks all right on the lid. Let me just zoom you guys in. Hopefully you can see more of what's going on. And let's just blow the shadow off. everywhere, apparently. <laughs> I mean, there's a little bit of color. I'll give it that. It's just not the most pigmented thing I've ever tried and it is quite dusty. It's a very pretty shade though. I like these kind of yellow tones. Just feel like I'm gonna hit pan really quickly on this. Which I'm assuming, comparing it to all the other products, this does not have a lot of actual shadow in it. This is a very pretty, like, buttercup yellow though. There's zero patchiness, which is appreciated. All right, now I'm gonna go into this one. I think it's number six. It's just the pinkier shade. A lot of kick up again. I'm just gonna put this through the inner part of the crease. It is very blendable. I feel like this is a good uh, beginner's kind of formula where it just kind of picks up minimal product, is very floofy, you know. I do have to dip in back and forth quite a bit though, which is not my personal favourite, but again, I feel like this is good for beginner makeup. And also, if you just want something to fluff throughout the crease, like literally that took me like two seconds. <laughs> I prefer to have something a little bit more pigmented and the colour to be a little bit more dense, if that makes sense. Like this is quite a sheer 
powder. Okay, now I'm going to go in with one of my two shimmer options. <laughs> Ooh, that feels really nice and soft. Here are the shimmer options that I have. Okay, those look pretty good. They are very soft and smooth. Okay, make a revolution. Okay. I'm gonna go in with the yellow. I'm gonna try without spraying it first of all. I'm not cutting my crease or anything. I just kind of wanna have a very relaxed eye look. So it's not that metallic on the lid. It's a little bit more of just like a sheen, but it is very pretty. I'm just gonna try it wet in it. See if that makes a difference. Mm, not really. <laughs> I think that smoothed it out a little, but it didn't enhance it at all. I'm just gonna finish this up over here. Yeah, this shimmer is very underwhelming. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna try going in with my finger and see if that helps out any. Okay, that made it a little better. Not by much, but <laughs> a little bit. I may just add a little bit of this pink to the center to see if that'll make it pop a little. Okay, it is way better. This one's a lot softer in the pan and just picks up the light a lot better. I think I'm just going to go over the top with the yellow. It doesn't look so pink, you know? Okay, cute. I now think I want to deepen up the outer corner a little bit. I'm going to go in with this brown shade here. Again, very kick -a I'm just going to kind of add this outer corner. Oh, so I thought. <laughs> Hello? Okay, this... Hmm isn't really deepening up that much. It looks a lot deeper in the pan than where it's coming out on my actual eyeballs. Yeah, um, hmm. this is like the same depth as the yellow, uh, so it's not actually adding any depth at all. It's just changing the tone, really, which is a little bit disappointing. Like, especially in the pan. That's the first color I had on, and that's the brown. You would expect there to be a little bit more depth than what's going on in my lids right now, but you know what? We're gonna move on. Um, I like what's going on in my lid. I think it looks really pretty. Are these the best eyeshadows? Hell no. <laughs> are they decent for cheap? Yes, but I would probably say go to e.l.f. because they are more pigmented and just as blendable. Yeah, I mean, I don't hate the look I've made. I just, the brown disappointed me. <laughs> Make Revolution have made a lot of brown eyeshadows, you know? This one just did not work that well. I'm gonna finish up with a little bit more of the yellow under the eye and maybe blow it out a little bit more with the yellow and then we'll move on to the face. All right, so this is the finished eye. I just literally put the yellow underneath my eyes and I use the brown to kind of try to extend my inner corner. I would not suggest doing that with these shadows because they're so dusty. It kind of went a little bit everywhere when I tried doing that. Or maybe you could try wetting your brush or just dusting off all the excess, but yeah. I had a little bit of fallout that kind of just swept away because the eyeshadow formula is just so light and airy, um, which I guess is a positive. But yeah, let's move on to some of the face palettes I bought. All right, so I bought two of these little face palettes. This one, which is a trio, is the Relove Play Contour Trio Palette in Sugar, which is the lightest version. I believe they have three of these in different depths. Can't say the word depth. De three different shades. <laughs> I got the fairest version, which is in the shade Sugar. And then they also had these blush highlight duos, which is just the Colourplay Blush Duo in Queen. I like this one because it's more of like a terracotta kind of shade. It says this is a baked peach tone blush and rose gold tone highlight. The highlight is too dark for me, but I just like the blush. The duo was £3 and the trio was also £3. <laughs> not quite sure why that is, but they are the exact same price. I have not set this foundation. Um, it's still transferring a little bit and feels a little bit tacky. So I'm just going to powder this down and then we'll try these products on top. To keep it really affordable, I'm going to use the MUA Loose Setting Powder. This stuff is amazing. I'm only going to powder down lightly. I do really like the glow. That this foundation is given. It's really pretty but it's not overkill, you know, it's just a nice healthy glow. This powder is very mattifying though so it is kind of disappearing. But you know when you're an oily skin girl that doesn't last for long so it doesn't matter too much. Definitely because it's powdered down though it's looking a little bit more sheer coverage. I'm missing a little bit of product by here by my nose so I feel like the powder's lifted it a little bit. But you know what, it's fine. Okay, it looks fine. <laughs> Everywhere else it looks great. I think I'm gonna use the blush from the duo because that's the kind of vibe that I want. But I wanna try the contour and bronzer in here. The blush doesn't look bad, but it's just a bit more coral 
than what I want for today. Let's open this up. Out of all of the pants they could have embossed with contour, they chose to emboss the highlight. I'm hoping this bronzer is gonna be all right. It does look like a decent shade. Yeah, let's try this out, okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm a little bit stung right now, but hopefully that highlight may actually work for me. Again, very dusty. I'm hoping this is gonna be really blendable considering the eyeshadow and also considering like how dusty it is. I am just using a big fluffy brush so I can get a nice veil of it. You know what, actually, this looks like a real decent contour shade. Try and hollow out a little bit by here. Like I definitely feel like maybe this is more of a contour than a bronzer, which I appreciate because whenever I get these kind of palettes, it's always too warm. It's very, blendable, very dusty. I think I need a bigger mirror. I need to see the bigger picture, okay? Yeah, okay. I actually quite like that color. It's a sheer powder. Again, that's what I'm finding with all of these products. The powder is just, it's just very buildable or bronzer and stuff. I'd say that's more ideal. And I do really like this color. I think this is such a good color for someone who's pale. And I am just kind of like whacking this on. So far, I think this is my favorite product. I'd say it's a very similar formula to the eyeshadow. We just need a little more oomph from our eyeshadows, you know, that's my personal opinion anyway, because I feel like they all just kind of like blended into each other, <laughs> you know? Let me just swatch this blush and highlight. The highlight does feel very soft and that is a very pretty blush actually. I may play around with this on the weekend because I do love blush colors like this. I just want something a little bit more orange yellowy tone. I will just try the highlight though and see if it actually comes out because it does look very sheer but it does have like a slight shine to it. Let's have a look shall we? It's a little something there. I was afraid it was going to be too dark but actually it's almost translucent so it doesn't really leave a dark cast. I think if you're very pale and you're just starting out with some makeup, you want some affordable makeup, this is actually quite nice. There's no texture being picked up by that either. It's a very smooth formula. I actually quite like that. So far, this is my favorite. <laughs> All right, now let's try this blush duo. It looks so pretty. I love the embossing on it. It reminds me of like the Amrezy highlighter, you know? Let's feel this. It feels a little bit smoother than the other one. Oof. Yeah, that's the kind of color that I wanted. It's very similar to what's on my eyes, let's be honest. And then this highlight is going to be too dark for me, but does look very pretty. I guess I could use it as like a blush topper. It doesn't look that shiny. Can you see it? It's the bottom one right here. Let me just try this blush. I want to go a little bit blush heavy. Let's see what this goes on like. That is a pretty shade. I'm gonna bring this across my nose and everything. I feel like this formula is a little bit more creamy than the other powders, so I think it's actually picking up my foundation. I'm just gonna tap it on, see if that helps smooth that out a little. I'm just gonna use this on like the edges of my bronzer as well to warm up the rest of my complexion. I'm sorry if you can hear squeaking guys, my chair's <laughs> making noises and it's really annoying. Okay, I love this color blush. They did have other colors, obviously, other duos, but this is the one that just kind of spoke to me. And also, I had an idea for this look, so this is what I decided to buy. Very buildable, very blendable, you know, all of the things. It's not the most pigmented blush ever, which is nice for a blush. It is a matte blush. There's no sheen to it or anything. Obviously with this one you could add the sheen on top if you wanted to. I don't really want to but yeah I quite like that. As I said in the beginning it kind of felt like it was picking up my foundation but now that I've kind of stippled it on I don't have that issue anymore and yeah there's no texture or anything. I'd say it looks pretty good. Is it my most favorite blush? Definitely not but I feel like the formula in this is a little bit more moist that's the only way I can put it. It just feels softer in the pan. Maybe it's just not pressed as hard. But yeah, I do quite like that. Now I'm gonna do something. I decided to pick up this eyeliner. I wanted to test the formula. It's a white eyeliner and it's a liquid eyeliner. So I was just curious. <laughs> I love to have a white eyeliner in my collection and I feel like you can't have too many because so many of them aren't that good, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the dip eyeliner in white and it was £2.50. So I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. It is a felt tip. Yeah, felt tip brush. That's actually very hard. I just thought with this kind of like blushy 
look it would look nice with maybe some daisies over top and i just thought to add like flower freckles that's my idea anyway <laughs> we'll see how this turns out and how pigmented this is to make my vision come to life you know <laughs> it does not smell good <laughs> Just FYI, not that most eyeliners do, but it smells like paint. I'm concerned. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna start with a center dot and then I'm gonna kind of press the actual eyeliner brush to make the petals. We'll see how this goes. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's not going that well so far. It's because it's so stiff, it's hard to maneuver. <laughs> Oh jeez. All right, that was a big petal. <laughs> mm. Does that really look like what I wanted it to? No. <laughs> Are we gonna power on? Yes. It's actually a decently pigmented white though, which is great. Just gonna try and go over some of these petals, try and save them. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> crazy it doesn't exactly look the way i wanted it to look i look like a 12 year old child just went at it with white eyeliner but you know what the eyeliner in itself is okay it's not the best i did go over it twice on the little flowers but it's not the worst um i can't see it cracking or anything like that even though i have layered it up which is nice but obviously eyeliner is not meant for all over your face but if you want to put it all over your face you most definitely can <laughs> <laughs> to finish these up, I'm just going to go in with my Suwa Beauty UV Taffies palette and I'm just going to go in the center of the flowers just with some yellow to pop them off, you know. If we're doing this, we're doing it properly. But yeah, I'm just going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, cute. I actually mixed in a little bit of the pink as well to make more of like an orangey yellow. The final thing we have to try is a gloss. Look how tiny <laughs> this gloss is, okay? It's absolutely puny. Like if I just compare, this is the Colourpop Luxe Gloss with Raw Beauty Christy. It's so small. This is the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. It's just so small. This is actually a Huda Beauty Mini the Matte Liquid Lipstick and this is it next to it. It's even smaller than that. This is the Baby Gloss Lip Gloss in the shade Cream. Again, they had quite a few shades in this but I just chose the lightest nude one because that's my kind of vibe. <laughs> This was also three pounds, by the way. I'm just gonna quickly line my lips. I'm gonna use Cold Brew by NYX. By the way, that lip balm has completely like disappeared and just melted into my lips. It hasn't left a weird layer or anything, which I appreciate. I kinda wanna do like a 90s vibe with this lip, so that's why I've gone so deep. <laughs> with this lip liner. It's a gorgeous chocolatey brown, so nice. I'm gonna blend it a little with my finger. Okay, let's pop this gloss on. What's the applicator like? Okay, it's a tiny little doe foot. This is literally like a baby gloss, which I love minis, but this is really tiny. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, that smells amazing. Mm. This smells exactly like the I Heart Revolution concealer. That kind of has like a coconutty, tropical vanilla -y kind of vibe. This smells exactly like it. Ah, okay, this is gonna be very 90s. <laughs> this is looking a little bit more cool tone than what I thought it would, but it's probably because of the base. I'm kinda digging it though. It's very pigmented. I was not expecting that. You can cheer it out, obviously. I like that, it's not sticky whatsoever. I think this over like a standard nude lip as well would look amazing. It's very shiny, there's no glitter or anything to it, but I don't know if they had different formulas in this. This is just kind of like a pigmented standard gloss, no shimmer, no nothing. And I think it actually goes quite well with the brown. Yeah, I really like this, okay. All right, so this is actually the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead, do my hair, and I'll give you my final thoughts on this launch and the products that I tried. Be right back. All right, ignore my hair. I tried to do something cute with it, but it's a total and utter mess. I need a hair intervention. Okay, <laughs> anyway, you're here for the makeup, so let's talk about it. Were any of these products mind-blowing? No. Is it anything brand new that I've never seen? No, 
<laughs> do I think you need it in your makeup collection? Should you run out and go purchase everything? No. <laughs> this makeup feels like beginner makeup. It's affordable, it's accessible, the quality is okay, but I definitely feel like this brand is targeted towards that kind of demographic where they just want to play with makeup but don't take it like too seriously you know it's not like a collector's thing the primer i like the way it felt it was really nice gel based didn't sit on the skin melted in really easily um i don't know if it made my pores vanish <laughs> but it definitely felt nice and prepped the skin i guess for four pounds i think it's Okay, the foundation is actually one of my favourites out of this whole thing. I think it sat really nicely on the skin, had a nice finish, powdered down decently, I didn't have any troubles with that. I'll definitely reach for this again, it's not a bad foundation by any means. Makeup Revolution's foundations tend to work on my skin and even though this said it was going to be like a super dewy finish, I don't feel like it was crazy dewy. It left a nice sheen on my skin but didn't feel tacky and didn't really hold moisture like a dewy foundation does. So personally on my oily skin I prefer that because I feel like I could wear it then. Again though, not my favourite. It's just okay. The powder products from this range, uh, I think my favourite out of the three was actually the contour palettes. I really like the shade of the contour, I really like that it's buildable. Obviously I haven't tried the blush yet but this is my favourite one out of the bunch. Even though it was a little bit dusty, it blended really nicely and I love the colour. And yeah, I do think I'm going to reach for that one just because it was really easy to use and it's quite small and compact so I don't know, it'll just be easy to pick up and go through, you know? Also the highlight in it is very nice. Again, nothing crazy blinding, but I think would be nice for like an everyday kind of highlight, you know? And then I did really like this blush from the Blush Duo. Decently pigmented, buildable, pretty colour, good for the price. Again, a lot of this is just good for the price. The eyeshadow palette, I don't know. I think it's okay. I wish there was a bit more diversity in here. Obviously I didn't use every shade. Well, I used five out of the six. I didn't use this one and to be honest, I don't know if I would. <laughs> Maybe if I was gonna do like an all matte look, it would be nice. But anyway, the shimmer formula, I mean, both of them weren't the same in the same palette, so I don't know about that. I quite like the pink one. I think what's kind of annoyed me about this is the images online were a little bit deceiving and I thought I was getting more of like a capsule version of the Urban Decay Honey palette. That's kind of like what I was expecting, but it was not that. I do really like this mustardy yellow shade. It does come out slightly deeper on the eye, which I appreciate. However, this brown barely came off. <laughs> Maybe if I had first gone in with this and worked from darker shades to lightest, maybe it would have worked out better, but it, it just barely came out on the lid, which was kind of annoying. But I still overall like the eye makeup that I've come up with, so it's not a complete failure, but it's definitely not something that stands out to me. And again, I think it's more beginner friendly. So if you're just testing the waters of eyeshadow out, you may like this. And for the price, I mean for five shades, it's pretty unbeatable unless you go to e.l.f. But I definitely don't think it's up to par with e.l.f. in my humble opinion. Obviously there's just one eyeshadow palette out of the whole shebang that they brought out as well, so bear that in mind. And then the white eyeliner, I mean, I've put it on my face, so I don't know if it's a true test of the actual eyeliner itself, but you know, looking at it, it looks decent. It has kind of discolored a little bit because it's kind of mixed in with my foundation ever so slightly. I think definitely for the price it is decent and it's not cracking with the movement of my face or anything. I don't know how it's going to perform on actual eyelid skin because there tends to be a lot more movement on your eyes I guess. Before like little playful freckles and stuff, I don't know, it worked for me. So for £2.50 I think it's pretty good. I hate the applicator though. It's just too stiff. I much prefer a brush tip. And then finally the gloss. I really like this actually. The formula is really nice. It's not sticky whatsoever. Really soft on the lips. I will say the colours kind of died down a little bit but it's kind of mixed in with the lip liner which I quite like. Apart from the minuscule amount you get, I think it's decent for £3. I think these are really cute. They're nice to just throw in your bag I guess. Out of everything, this is probably like my favourite thing. I don't know why I wasn't expecting much from this little guy, but the baby gloss is really cute. And I love the way my lips turned out. All right, well, that is it for all the products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Makeup Revolution releasing another goddamn brand. <laughs> Can we stop them? I don't think 
I don't think we're gonna be able to guys. All right, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. If you're brand new to my channel, I hope you decide to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the little bell button down below and that'll just notify you when I upload next. Please leave a thumbs up on this video if you did enjoy it, I greatly appreciate it. All right, I hope I see you on the next one. Till then, bye guys.